In this animated lecture, I will teach you what is electrochemistry and how cells provides electricity. So what is electrochemistry? Electrochemistry is the branch of chemistry that deals with the relationship between electricity and chemical reactions. In simple words it is the branch of chemistry in which we study how electrical energy is converted into chemical energy and chemical energy is converted into electrical. This conversion involves oxidation and reduction reactions, which are also known as redox reactions. Redox reactions either take place spontaneously and produce electricity, or electricity is used to drive non-spontaneous redox reactions and converts into chemical energy. Spontaneous processes occur naturally, without external energy, while non-spontaneous processes require external energy. Let me teach you what are redox reactions. Reactions which involves reduction and oxidation reactions, known as redox reactions. Oxidation reaction is a loss of electron, by an atom or an ion. While reduction reaction is the gain of electron. Let us have a simple example of, reaction between sodium metal, and, chlorine gas. During this reaction, sodium atom loses an electron, and forms sodium ion, so known as oxidation reaction. Simultaneously this electron is gained by chlorine atom, known as reduction. As a result chlorine atom changes to chloride ion. Ultimately, both these ions attract each other to form sodium chloride, which is known as table salt. Redox reactions occurs in special type of devices, known as electrochemical cells. There are two types of electrochemical cells. Electrolytic cell and galvanic cell. Electrolytic cell converts electrical energy into chemical energy, while galvanic cell converts chemical energy into electrical energy. An electrolytic cell consists of two electrodes that are dipped in the solution, known as electrolyte, both electrodes connected to the battery. The electrode connected to positive terminal contains positive charge, called as anode. On the other hand, electrode connected to the negative terminal contains negative charge, and is called cathode. A galvanic cell consists of two half cells, each containing an electrode and an electrolyte. The two half cells are connected by a salt bridge and the electrodes are connected by a wire allowing electrons to flow. One electrode is the anode, contains negative charge, where oxidation occurs, and the other is the cathode, contains positive charge, where reduction occurs. Both electrodes are made up of different metals having different electrode potential. Electrons produced by redox reaction flows from anode towards cathode. This flow of electrons is what we call electricity. I have little confusion. In electrolytic cell, anode is positive and cathode negative, while in galvanic cell, anode negative and cathode is positive. I have answer for you. Oxidation always occurs at anode, while reduction at cathode. In electrolytic cell oxidation produces positive charge and reduction produces negative charge. While in galvanic cell oxidation results negative charge on anode and reduction results positive charge on cathode. Do you know my dear students how electrolytic cell works? When electric current is applied from battery, the ions in the electrolyte migrate to their respective electrodes. The anions which are negatively charged move towards the positively charged anode and thus charge thereby losing their electrons. Thus oxidation takes place at anode. On the other hand, cations, which are positively charged ions, move towards negatively charged cathode. Cations gain electrons from the electrode and as a result reduction takes place at cathode. The process that takes place in an electrolytic cell is called electrolysis. Electro means electrical energy and lysis means to break. So electrolysis is a chemical process that uses electricity to break down compounds to produce chemical energy. So the cell used for electrolysis is known as electrolytic cell. Now let me teach you how galvanic cell works. The left half cell consists of an electrode of zinc metal dipped in one molar solution of zinc sulfate. The right half cell is a copper electrode, dipped in one molar solution of copper sulfate. The zinc metal has tendency to lose electrons more readily than copper. As a result, oxidation takes place at zinc electrode. The electrons flow from zinc electrode through the external wire in a circuit to copper electrode. 
These electrons are gained by copper ions present in solution, discharged and deposit at the electrode. This gain of electron is called reduction. The oxidation and reduction reactions results in flow of electrons from left half cell to the right half cell in this flow of charge is known as electric current. Salt bridge is U-shaped glass tube. It consists of saturated solution of strong electrolyte, contains positive and negative ions. Supported in a jelly type material. The ends of the U-tube are sealed with a porous material like glass wool. The function of the salt bridge is to maintain balance of ions to keep solution on both sides neutral. Salt bridge allows ions to flow between two half cells. This allows the cell to continue producing an electrical current. Now we are able to discuss some differences between electrolytic cell and galvanic cell. Electrolytic cells are non-spontaneous electrochemical cells that converts electrical energy into chemical energy. Galvanic cells are spontaneous electrochemical cells that convert chemical energy into electrical energy. Electrolytic cells need an external power source, while galvanic cells generate electrical energy. In an electrolytic cell, the anode is positive and the cathode is negative. While in a galvanic cell, anode is negative and cathode is positive. Electrolytic cells consist of one complete cell. On the other hand, galvanic cell consist of two half cells. I hope this video helped you. If you find it interesting don't forget to like it. And subscribe for more educational content like this.